Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on computer networks lab using the Cisco Packet Tracer. This ex in this session, I shall be demonstrating the use of access control list. The title of the experiment is Defining and Testing Access Control List. So what is its purpose and how to implement this? For this particular experiment, you need to first make a setup either for the dynamic routing or for the stat static routing. So since I have already explained in one of my previous session about the dynamic routing, first you are supposed to watch that dynamic routing video lecture and then you can continue with this. So because the complete setup what I have done here in order to carry out this defining and testing access control list is first about the dynamic routing because we actually have to configure the routers for either dynamic routing or for the static routing. Any one of this routing you try to configure first in these two routers and then start doing this experiment defining and testing access control list. So basically what is this experiment? First let me tell you about access control list ACL in short. It will deny or permit the source IP address. Now in our previous experiment we have seen that suppose if this is the network one okay if this network okay if the PCs in this network if they want to receive the packets from PC2 or PC3 of the other network it was working, we were able to see that those uh, PCs were able to communicate with PC0 and PC1. Now suppose if PC0 and PC1 decides that they does not want to communicate with one of these two PCs, either PC2 or PC3, that means this PC0, let us take in particular PC0, you can take PC1 also if you want, just for explanation purpose, I am taking PC0. Suppose if PC0 decides not to accept any packet from PC3, but it is ready to accept packets from PC2. So what PC0 has to do, it has to block this PC3. Now PC3 is getting blocked, but PC2 is permitted to send the packets. So when we say PC0 is not interested in taking the packets from PC3, PC0 belongs to which uh, network? PC0 belongs to 192.168.16.0. So this is the network actually which should stop taking the packets from PC3. Devices which are there in this network 192.168.16.0 if they doesn't want to communicate with PC3 then they have to block PC3. So that means this network should block PC3 whereas in access control list we are defining that will permit PC2 to communicate with the devices of network 1. So these things we need to configure here. First, the first and foremost thing is that dy dynamic routing should be successfully working or static routing should be successfully working means what the PCs of one uh, network should be able to communicate with the PCs of other network. Once this is successfully done now you want to block one particular PC from second network okay and for that to carry out you have to make this router which router this router 0. In this router we say this is a ACL enabled router. So you can put the label also. So what is that? Because you completely you need to configure in this router. We will write here it is an ACL enabled router. In this router you need to start configuring. First thing is click to this router. Go to the CLI mode. So the router is appearing as router 0. Maybe the host name from router has got changed. No problem. So it is router 0 only we wanted to configure. In the global configuration mode you have to type the command access list access list followed by one number now i am writing the number one okay let me tell you that also deny so we want to deny communication from which host we need to type that ipv4 address of that host so we want to deny from 172.16.1.101 so type that IP address 172.16.1.101 okay so this is the command command is what access list 1 actually you have a range of numbers from 1 to 99 1 to 99 you can select any number here I am taking the number as 1 because we want to 
define which is the list number access list number here is one the same we need to actually give it to the interface of the router also that's the reason whatever number you give here the same number you need to give to the interface of the router now we have selected we have chosen one so type this access list uh, deny is what you are not allowing from pc3 any packets to go to the other network and you have to use the command host followed by the ip address of this host pc3 so once you do this press enter then once again you type access list type that number and you want to permit you want to permit from 1.100 so need not specify that ipv4 address it we want to permit any other host that is present in the network not only this pc2 suppose if you have pc4 pc5 p6 any other devices from all those devices you want to permit the packets or you want to uh, allow those pcs to communicate with the other network so you have to use simply the command any okay any other host apart from this can communicate press enter this pcs which are their pc2 pc3 if they want to send the packet it will go via this via this router then it will come over here so from this router it will the packets will be placed on this interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 that means we have to say here this as the outbound if the packets are coming from this network and it is moving to the other network from this router router 0 we have to say it as inbound in this case since we are denying the communication from pc3 it is from this network it has to move to this network no so this router has to actually place this packet on this interface or should not place the packet on the interface depending on whether it is permitted or denied so that is why we say this as outbound same thing you need to mention here in the configuration in the router what is that you have to say interface fa0 slash 0 okay fa0 slash 0 then the command is ip access group now you need to type that access list number we had chosen one no type one and it is outbound so write out then exit so this completes only three lines you want to deny the communication from pc3 you have to type that pc3's uh, ip address you want to allow from other pcs permit any and for this an acl enabled interface the one the interface which is going towards this network fast ethernet 0 slash 0 you have to define it as outbound that's why we are using the command here out so this is what you have to carry out so this router is acl enabled now <coughs> for this pc3 it is deny no we will just put that in the label also and for pc2 you are permitting right so these things will verify now first we'll see whether pc2 can communicate with pc0 that means the one which you are permitting is it working or not properly go to desktop command prompt and now you are in pc2 you ping pc0 or pc1 anyone okay so we'll do ping 192.168.16.100 so communication is successful that means this packet is able to reach the other network now we'll check for pc3 pc3 command prompt the pc3 also wants to ping to pc0 192.168.16.100 now look here the reply has come as destination host unreachable this is what we wanted also because we have already defined in the access control list that we don't want to communicate we don't want to receive any packet from this pc we in a sense here this router router zero because this is the router which is going to send the packets to pc0 or pc1 
so here you can see that yes destination host is unreachable moreover sometimes we get the output as request timed out request timed out is the problem with the connectivity here there is no problem in the connection all the connections are proper if the destination host unreachable is there it means the router is not forwarding the packet to that particular host or is not knowing the route to send that packet to that host so i have a lecture uh, completely on the ping command that means ping command will have different types of replies and what are its uses all those things i have explained in detail under the heading ping command in the same series you can watch that session so this is about the access control list now this way we have carried out here from pc3 if you want you can reverse this functioning you can make router 1 as acl enabled router and try to stop taking packets from either pc0 or pc1 so this is how you have to make the complete connections as well the configurations for this topic defining and testing access control list so hope this session is useful to you all if you find it useful please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye and take care